I'm super excited to edit this video about why I love the Canon EOS R for event photography, but there's nothing like having a little sparkling water to get you through that edit. Zero calories, refreshing, bubbling. Let's go see if we have some. No! No sparkling water? Have to go to the store. Let's go. So I thought I'd start off here on the way to the store. Um, I noticed it's drizzling a little uh, out here that I didn't realize, uh, but we'll do this, we'll do this quick. Um, so why I love event photography is you're in the moment, like that moment is not replayable. Um, like a wedding is a super high profile example of that, um, but a birthday party or a surprise party or uh, film screening, um, these are the, some of the things that I've done lately you get one chance to capture that moment and just being ready and being on top of it and having your gear work uh, flawlessly. It's exciting. It can be an adrenaline rush. It can also be a super bummer if you're having gear or technical problems, but that's why I wanna tell you all about my joy of having the Canon EOS R at my side for these events. It's been great. All right, let's go. So this ties into one of my goals with my photography and why I bought the Canon EOS R. I mean, there's really two main types of photography that I see myself doing for business, and that's event photography, um, which I love for the reason I said earlier, of just being part of those emotional moments and those unreplayable, unduplicatable moments. Um, but then I also love portrait photography. And the thing I love about portraits, and I'm gonna get more into that when I talk about Nick's portrait session uh, coming up is, I love to interview people and spend time with them and get to know them and then engage in the portrait session. It just makes those portraits and images so much more deep and rich having knowledge of the person. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. Um, those are some of the goals I have with my photography business. But right now, I wanted to stick to the point. That's a good reminder. Stick to the point and tell you quickly about my experience with the Canon EOS R. But first, sparkling water. So I've had three recent event photography gigs since I got the Canon EOS R and I actually bought the Canon EOS R as early as I did because I have an upcoming event photography gig in May that I wanted a new camera for. All right, so let me tell you about these three event photography gigs and how they were different and what I used uh, in each scenario and how, most importantly, how the EOS R performed. All right, so the first one was a birthday party. It was my wife's aunt's 85th birthday party. And so it was a very special event. And so I had the Canon EOS R like three days, I think. Um, popped a flash, the Godox V860 C2 or 2C on top of there. And I shot the event with a 24 to 105 millimeter lens so I could zoom in and out. I wouldn't have to move a lot because there's people and you know, you don't want to miss those um, moments in candid situations. Um, like when she walks in and she's surprised. And so um, the EOS R, one of my reflections about that was, it was like just an extension of my body. It worked flawlessly in every situation. The photos were crisp, the flash worked perfectly, and um, I couldn't have asked for more. And so my setup for that was the 24 to 105 lens, the Godox flash on top and uh, the Fong Dome as a f uh, diffuser. And that's really it. Uh, that's how I shot. Um, and here's a couple of pictures from that uh, event. So the second event, about a week ago, my wife had a literary event with spoken word artists and poets and people reading. And so I was the MC, so I worked the event, but afterwards I knew I wanted to capture these kind of precious moments of these artists interacting with each other and people meeting and greeting and networking um, just to kind of summarize the event. And, and that's one of the things that's special about photography is you get to capture these moments. And so for that event, I knew that I wanted 
um, an off-camera flash and it was only gonna be a 20, 30 minute time. Again, I was using the Godox V860 2C flash with the Fong Dome held in my left hand, camera in my right hand, so I had an off-camera flash and I just used the Godox X-Pro trigger to control the power of the flash in that situation or I would angle it um, at different angles using my wrist um, to account for where I was in the room and what other light sources were around people. Here's a couple of shots from that. And I just remember the flash um, just bringing this vibrancy out and, and making uh, people look great and radiant and just um, just capturing the moment. So that was my setup for that. Again, it worked flawlessly. Um, I was able to, I popped outside, took a picture of a couple um, outside on the curb in a kind of a different lighting situation, and then just came back inside, dialed the, the flash uh, settings back on the dial, and I was back in the, um, the in-room environment shooting at the correct settings. And then this last weekend, I was hired by a former student who worked on an independent film to come to the screening at a house in Baldwin Hills. And so um, I was gonna have plenty of time dedicated to photography. They had a photo backdrop. So I brought my light stand with my Westcott umbrella, put the flash up there about, I had it pretty tall because I wanted the, the light to angle down and kind of put the shadows behind people against the, the photo backdrop. And so um, again, I shot with the V860, the Godox light um, with the uh, Westcott umbrella on the light stand and then um, the X-Pro trigger on the Canon EOS R. And here's some pictures from that. And then I just really loved how sharp and crisp these are uh, these pictures turned out. And there was a moment where I had the 24 to 105 on the camera very early on, like a shot or two, and I kind of zoomed in, magnified, and I just wasn't happy with how crisp those shots were. And because we were using a photo backdrop and I had a tripod, oh yeah, this was my first event in photography using the tripod. So I had the, uh, the tripod set up and I knew pretty much every group was gonna fit in front of the photo backdrop and I wouldn't need to zoom in and out. So I chose the 35 millimeter RF lens, which was the one I used at the literary event. Um, and I was so happy. I'm so impressed with the crispness, the sharpness of that, uh, the 35 millimeter RF lens. So that's, that's really my go-to lens. I'm loving it. I know it's a, it's a prime and sometimes it feels like it doesn't fit every situation because you have to move around a lot, but um, it's my go-to lens. I love the native RF lens on this uh, RF mount camera. And so um, I've used the 35 millimeter lens twice, the 24 to 105 at the birthday party, but overall I'll choose the 35 millimeter every time. Um, I just love this lens. I, I really, really enjoy it. And you know, I'm looking forward to the next photography gig. So it's been, you know, like three weeks, I think, and I've had three events. This is how I like to see my photography business develop is constantly working and improving the craft. And it helps to get paid and make uh, money on these freelance gigs, which I'm gonna invest in more gear. So one of the things I'm thinking is what, what lens next? The 50 millimeter RF lens is incredibly sharp. I tried it out at the Canon factory service center. I'm really impressed by it. Um, so that's on my list. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's next. Uh, maybe I'll invest in a, another light uh, before I invest in another lens. But so far I'm loving it. And um, so yeah, three, three events down. Oh, and I had a portrait session, but that's gonna be a whole other video uh, with Nick, an artist, a cartoon, uh, cartoonist, an illustrator, comic book artist. And so I'm gonna do a separate video on that portrait session um, because I was really, uh, really happy with how that turned out. So yeah, until next time, thanks for joining us. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Click that button, the subscribe button. Click the bell to get notified. Um, I've gotten a, a, quite a few new subscribers in the last week or so since I put up the Canon EOS R uh, review so, and the Godox flash uh, video. So check out those if you haven't. And leave a comment, interact, give me questions, give me feedback. I would love to hear from you and uh, what you're into and what you think about these topics. All right, until next time, peace. All right, everybody, today we're gonna talk about how the Canon EOS R does with event photography. Let's go.